The head of the British Army was in Leicester today to encourage more people from ethnic minority backgrounds to consider a career in the army. General Sir Nick Carter also told ITV News that lifting the ban on women being allowed to fight on the front line is a step in the right direction and described it as a sensible evolution. Rajiv Popat reports. During a visit to the University of Leicester today, General Sir Nick Carter said the way the army operates has changed significantly and has to adapt to the future by recruiting more talent. And talent that comes from all parts of British society. As the head of the army, I'm therefore prepared to invest significant effort in seeking to broaden our recruiting base and reach out to all parts of British society. The army's been criticised by the lack of ethnic minority personnel. Sir Nick Carter admits it needs to be more diverse. I mean, we have around 10% from ethnic minorities, although a number of those are drawn from the Commonwealth and not necessarily from British communities. So I'm keen that it should be larger in terms of diversity, not least because we're really after talent. Azim Hafiz is an imam. He's also a religious advisor to the Ministry of Defence. He says his role is to build bridges between communities and the armed forces. I think sometimes people don't realise that there are a variety of careers available to them within the armed forces. You can be a lawyer, you can be a doctor, you can be a dentist, you can be an engineer. I think sometimes people look at the media and the newspaper and say, oh, it's all about shooting bullets and throwing bombs. And I think once we're able to get that out, I think we will begin to see a lot more people getting attracted to the armed forces. Captain Makan Singh has been with the Royal Logistics Corps for more than 30 years. He told me he joined the army for a sense of adventure. I've been very fortunate uh, to have been able to serve in Germany for six years, a couple of years in Hong Kong and some of the, the operation tours that were going on at the time when I was in. It's a great career. I'd recommend it to, to anybody. And as I keep saying to young people today, you know, if I was 18 now, knowing what I know about the army, I would join again. Two weeks ago, a ban on women serving in close combat roles was lifted. Sir Nick Carter described it as a major step forward. If you're going to move through a minefield these days, it's very likely that your minefield will have been cleared by a woman. And indeed, the fires that are controlled that come in either from the air or from artillery will very likely also be controlled by women. So the plain fact is this is a sensible evolution in terms of the role that women play within the army already. Women have served in Iraq and Afghanistan for many years. Sir Nick Carter told me they're invaluable and he'd like to see more women joining the army. Rajiv Poppert, ITV News, Leicester.